just a quick Hebrew lesson before we start. Idan is actually an era in Hebrew, so we are here to create a new era of clinical trials, basically. And then we actually go out and ask our patient how they feel. So this is Idan. And I'm Karen. Nice to meet you all. My story starts about seven years ago. I was diagnosed with endometriosis. And at the time, there were four clinical trials around the world. I went a little bit further, and I found out that there are 400,000 clinical trials around the world. No data collection anywhere. So if you actually want to do something with it later on, you can't. So we went a little further, and we went to the FDA, and we started asking them, what do they need? And they said they need the raw data. And since no researcher is actually collecting it, how can they do anything with it later on? So the clinical start at the beginning of the trial and finish there. So there is nothing further after that. So we went to do a little bit further than we actually thought to do in the beginning. And we started collecting information from actual patient. We went to ask the patient how they feel, and we went to ask them to give us the information inside a platform. After 2,000 women, we could see that there is something in the data that can be do done with, moreover than just collect collecting data. And we went to the hospitals and the pharmaceutical companies and we actually closed a deal with one hospital and one pharmaceutical company. And by the end of next year, they will actually be our customers. So we started working with the industry in order to get them to collect the actual data they have in their patients, in the hospitals, in the clinical trials. The next phase is to go and figure out how the market reacts. If we're talking about the US, we're talking about around 80 companies and 6,000 hospitals. If we're talking about 10% of that, we actually have a business. And the next phase is to do something with the data. If you'll come back later, I can show you a very small pack with something called electrolytes water. You probably heard of it, but you never tried it. Who here has headaches? Show of hands. That's it? More than that? Well, we found that 85% of women around the world have headaches, and electrolytes actually solve that. One pack in a glass of water for two weeks, no more migraines. So the goal is to go around the world and do more and more information collection so we can actually do more with the data, find the anomalies, and change how the drugs that we are getting are without side effects. Not quite as much as we know today. This is the landscape. We're talking about something that's just starting to move and nobody's actually doing that. But hopefully by the next couple of years, we will. We went to found the best of the minds in their field and our team is actually each one of them is doing it for several years in their own field. And the goal right now is to take it bigger and better as we go along. Because at the end of the day, we dream big. So we are here to launch a round. We just closed our first term sheet. And I'm inviting you to come join us. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you. I'm very confused. Um, so when people do a clinical trial, they collect data and then they publish their findings and then sometimes people do a meta-analysis and they get lots of clinical trials and they publish on that. And they rate, Every time you would do this, you would make recommendations. So um, I'm, I'm confused about what you're adding to that because this, scientists do this all the time and we're, we're putting that out there and putting what drug you should is, is shown to have an effect in the clinical trial and what's not. So what, what are you doing that's different? I'm sorry, I don't understand. That's fine. Um, the common knowledge is that clinical trials are being conducted with collecting the data in-house. The problem is that they're collecting several of the data that is out there, and they can collect much more of that. 
and the symptoms are not being collected and the raw data is not being saved. The problem is that once the clinical trial is over, the data is being held by the researcher and nobody else can use it. That means that inside the same company, the clinical trial that runs in the US and in the UK and in Israel and in somewhere else in the world is not being transferred. So the researchers can actually use the data that is being collected if they will work openly. But right now it's not the case. Do you mean clinical trial within a company or clinical trial within an academic study? Because, Everything. Because we do, on any research now, we say, are we prepared to share the data? And I've been at many, many talks by people that have reanalyzed data. And as I said, there's meta-analysis. That's what we do all the time. You're talking about data that is already being used. I'm talking about raw data things that are not being collected today. Nobody asks the patient how he feels, what hurts, how much it hurts, what are the scales, the gold standard that are actually out there that are being used around the medicine field, but nobody's working with that. We hope to collect this information, and the pharmaceutical companies are actually looking to collect this data and synthesize it and sell it later on so someone else can actually do something with it.